Right. Oh wait, oh wait, you're too high. Guys, today has been busy to say the least. Oh, God, what have I not done today? I've had a couple of calls that have led to me doing like quite a lot of like admin -y work bits, which took hours of my time. We had the cleaners round, so we were chatting with those guys and I've just filmed a reel for the new Carolyn Herrera mini tin, so I've just been doing that. The weather has been, it was hailing earlier and now it's bright blue sky, so God knows what's going on out there. But yeah, it's been absolutely manic. It's now like half past five and I was like, I really wanna open this box from Netta Porte. So, so this next little um, integrated section of the video is a paid for collaboration with Netta Porte. I'm genuinely thrilled to bits to be showing you some new clothes because I've had kind of had this urge recently. I want to find some new things for my closet and as much as it seems like I do that a lot of the time I haven't been online on like a website looking through the new in and like nothing makes me feel more relaxed and chilled out than literally clicking new in and going to see what's brand new on net porte So yeah, I just thought it would be nice to go through some new gorgeous things that I found. It feels like ages ago that I last did this. So hopefully you guys are in the mood for some beautiful luxury premium fashion. And I just wanted to show you a few new things. And what I've kind of done is I wanted to sort of build an outfit, like the perfect like summery outfit. So I've kind of done that and I've got a few, I've got one particular piece and a few items that will go with it. But then I must admit, I then found another item, another item that aren't related, but still, I thought I'd show you anyway. I'm most likely gonna get so hot in this, but I really love it. Again, I wore this for this Carolina Herrera reel that I've just filmed and it's somewhat warm, but I just, the model looked amazing in this outfit. So I was like, I wanna wear that. Let's get into here. Gosh, it feels like this is a long time coming. Yeah, so I hope you guys are in the mood for some fashion. I know I am. Right, let's see what I picked up. I wanna kind of start, first of all, with the main item that kind of got me inspired. So let me just find that a sec. Oh, it's here. It's right here, perfectly placed on the top. Thank you, Nettie Porter. Oh, wow. Oh, it's pretty, it's really pretty. What else is it gonna be, guys? It's a white linen dress. It's a white, perfect linen dress. Oh, it's gorgeous. So I got this in a size 34, so hopefully this fits me. It is meant to look a little bit more kind of casual and very chilled and not too fitted. Um, so I'll obviously bear that in mind when I try this on in a little second. But on first glance, it's a really lovely linen. It's got that gorgeous kind of undone texture of the linen running through here, which is beautiful. It's a midi length. It kind of skirts out into an A-line shape. So far, this is beautiful. Right, let me just, I'll put this on. White dress. I'm not gonna lie to you, I think it's absolutely amazing. This is stunning. The one thing I would likely do if I was to keep this, which I'm kind of gearing towards, is I could almost do it just taking it up a little bit because it is very low cut here. And just with maybe an inch up on, I mean, I could probably get a professional to do this so quickly. I mean, I could probably do it on a sewing machine. Just to put a little bit higher, I think would just fit really nicely. And I wouldn't feel like I was gonna fall out. But I think the beauty of this dress is this super modern minimalist simplicity and this really fantastic, slightly curved flat cut across the front. And the way it's been sewn, these different seams all the way down the front, almost a bit of a kind of parachute shape. And then it's got the pockets in it. Move the camera back a little bit further so you can see the sort of length we're looking at here. What a wonderful length, honestly, what a dress! Um, and also, um, there was a dress I was looking at, somewhat similar, you know, linen white vibes, and that dress was, I think, about £800 more than this one. And then I saw this one and I was like, wow, okay, that's wonderful. So I think if I was to keep this, I'd just slightly take up the um, the shoulders, just so it's perfectly fitted, but otherwise, I love this shape. It just feels so natural and chilled. You could just wear a little cardi over this. So as I said, I kind of built this outfit around this beautiful dress. So let's see what else we have. 
Oh, yes, okay, right. Now, I went for this little belt because I thought this would be so versatile. I actually don't have a, I actually don't have a little mini brown belt. And I saw this one from the Wave with the little L emblem, super lovely and small. And I thought with this dress, it would be the absolute dream. So let's try this on, see how we go. I was just feeling this very neutral, simplistic um, vibe when I when I ordered everything the other day. Oh, that's so pretty. I mean, white with tan is always a winner, isn't it? Oh, it goes perfectly. That is literally perfect, isn't it? Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this dress. It's just so understated and fabulous. <laughs> Okay, belt is a winner, that is gorgeous. And it'll just go with so much, this belt. So I think it's just a fantastic little mini piece to have in your collection. Save that for a minute. Um, right, oh yes, I oh, will save that one for a minute too. Okay, I wanna kind of do this outfit first. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, I picked up this bra. I haven't bought a strapless bra in, I can't even tell you when I last bought one. And the ones I do have are so like off colored now. So this is a really lovely stretchy material bandeau bra and it has this lace backing to it. So it actually looks really quite comfortable. Now I might try it with this, but I've got a feeling that it might be a bit, yeah, it's gonna be too high. That's gonna be too high, unfortunately. Maybe I could just make it so it just covers, potentially. Let me see. Yeah, I mean, technically my bra would be up here. I mean, if this was taken up, it might be a bit higher. Might get away with it a bit more. But overall, this is, this is the style of the bra. Just really easy bandeau that goes into lace at the back. So this is actually gonna be something I'll probably use a lot. Okay, back to here. Oh, now I know what this is. Guys, I bought a hat. Now, if you know me well, you'll know that I'm never sure if I quite suit hats, but I was just in such a summer mood. And this like dress was making me feel the summer vibes and I went for it. Look how pretty. Straw hat, really sweet little bow to the back. I don't often suit hats, so let's just see what happens here what do we think oh my gosh I kind of love it <laughs> I really quite love it oh it's nice oh it's really nice isn't it what do you guys think do I look fabulous or do I look too much like if I was in like Monaco and needing to shield my face from the rays this would be rather fab I mean it's so quaint isn't it I don't have a sun hat like this, even here when I'm outside and barbecuing and things. You know, I need a hat on, I don't have anything like this. I really love it. I really love it. What do you think now? Do I, if I look silly, let me know, but I kind of love it as a, a rather fabulous summer hat. What do you think? Obviously I'll leave it down below. Everything will be linked down below in order of appearance, I know I always say that. Okay, so the hat is found. Shoesies! Oh my gosh. Okay, exciting. Exciting times. Yeah, admittedly, this um, like discovery, this little discovery outfit today is, <laughs> there's a lot of Loewe in here and I'm sorry about that, but I'm, I'm really loving Loewe right now. How nice are these boxes, the way they open? That's really nice. And to be honest, I think it's all centered around these shoes because I saw these on, oh my gosh. Oh, they're even better in person. These are even better in person. I saw these on, I think it was like a net -a porte advert on my Instagram. I straight away, I was like, they are incredible sandals. And I feel like these are going to be quite a cult sandal this summer. I think you're gonna see a lot of people in these. These are even better in person because I didn't realize these would be a lovely camel tan. Can you see how lovely light camel, neutral camel that is? With the dark brown leather, which is gonna match my belt. And then the tan here, as well and then this is a beautiful linen and then the kind of raffia okay let me try it i am just so excited today this is it's so fun when you find beautiful things that you're really excited to wear did i get these i think i got yeah i think i got these in my usual size 37 and they fit like a dream wait can you not see can you not see can you see now can you see now oh my gosh keeping these <laughs> sorry i was just looking in the mirror and i'm just swooning over my feet <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, I think if you like these, get them soon because these are going to sell out. 
big time. These are absolutely unreal. I love them! My inner shopping goddess is unbelievably happy right now. See how this outfit is kind of building up together here now. This was my vision. Look at these sandals. Obsessed with these. I mean, they're flat, they're very flat. Like a flat foot, super comfy. Absolutely dreamy. I am just in love with this outfit. This whole look so far. The hat, the dress, the belt, the shoes. You just wait to the next piece. And then, then, then this happened. The wave it again. Oh my gosh, it's so, so cute. Sorry, I need to keep the shrillness down. Alex would be like, shut up. This is a serious Loewe outfit, I realised, but I just kept seeing more and more and loads of items have come out recently for the spring summer collection and I was in love. And this bag was, how much was this now? This bag was around the £300 mark because I, when I was looking for items, I didn't want to just go like super, super high price luxury. I wanted to find things that you guys might love and were a little bit more in the premium price categories. And this little bag is dreamy. Like if you want to invest in a designer bag and you need a more kind of pr premium price tag instead of the super luxuries. That's why I wanted to get this to show you how beautiful this is and I'm just in love with this. I might have to keep this because I don't have a bag of this size or this style. Oh, it's so cute. I'm just gonna go to the field and pick daisies or something because this is like a country dream. So far, I am keeping this whole outfit. I absolutely love it. I have to admit, I think I've won the outfit challenge here. <laughs> it was my own challenge that I made for myself to find a perfect like summer outfit. And this is it. Let me know guys what you think, but I am pretty sure I absolutely have to keep this entire outfit because it's just dreamy. <sighs> then continuing with the Loewe Obsession, they just launched, Loewe have just launched like homeware scenting and they've just launched candles and straight away I was like a magpie drawn to these because they just look so like earthy, these beautiful like pottery ceramics um, and they come in those different colours, like, I went for this beigey white one so it would go with everything. Ooh, it smells really good. It almost smells a bit aloe vera -y. It's really strong and fresh and pungent. I mean, there's different scents and they're all very earthy, like really earthy. I'll be honest, I bought this more for the actual candle and the way it looks. I'm gonna put this on my dining room table. This is beautiful. Oh, oregano. Oregano is the smell. Yeah, it's definitely got a very like aloe vera smell. Like it's almost cleaning out my airways right now. How lovely is that? And it just etched in, it just says Luevo here. So yeah, I wanted just to buy a little homeware piece. <laughs> so, and how lovely, how it comes in, comes in this really pretty box. They've done a really good job of these. Like I said, there's like, there's a beautiful pink mauvey one, there's a green, there might be a navy blue, I think as well. And they also come in different sizes. This is the smallest size they do, which is the 170 gram. Aside from this outfit of dreams, I have two more things that I did purchase like additionally. And that's just because I saw them in the new inn and kind of fell in love. The first one being, again, it's a really beautiful linen. It's a play suit. I've not bought a play suit in so long and gosh, they're one of my favourite types of, of things to buy. A really pretty khaki grey play suit. It just looked really comfy and comfortable and cute. So let me try it. Okay. This is so different. I think it just needs a little bit more shaping up. Yeah, look how casual and comfy that is. I love the fabric. Um, it's got a really nice little length to it. It just feels so comfy. It's such a fun little play suit. What do you guys think of this on me? It just feels really lovely and casual. Do you know what I mean? But I really like this little tie belt to cinch it in. It's just really different for me with the zip. I really quite like it. It feels got, it's got a bit of a boiler suit meets a play suit feel. Yeah, just a little bit different for me. I quite like it. Looking forward to hearing what you think of this actually. I really quite like this. And then final, final, final thing to show you is a two-piece set that I thought was just so cute. This is the little two-piece set. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I just kind of wanted something that I could 
wear kind of around the house and a bit more casually that was a little bit more stylish and a bit playful. And I saw this little two piece and it was like, it was so sweet. It kind of reminds me a bit of the Jacquemus shorts that I bought last year, which if you watched my video on my best and worst of the year, I said that was one of the worst because they were so tight that they just showed everything. Whereas these aren't like that at all. They're just, you know, they fit really nice and like casually. They're not really fitted, but they still have some stretch to them. Yeah, and this is such a lovely neckline. It's just like a very short scoop neckline around here and into these more oversized arms. It's just really sweet and simple. I'm gonna ask Alex what he thinks of this when he's editing it up and see if he thinks it's kind of cute. I think it's kind of cute, no? Also, not taking off these because I'm just in love with them. <laughs> what do you guys think, right? Really like it. <laughs> right, guys, I am buzzing now. That was so amazing. That whole like Lueve white dress lock has just got me like on top of the world. It was unreal. Let me know what you think though of all the extra bits, like this cute little two set and the play suit. Yeah, I'll link everything down below that I picked up from Net-a-Porter. Now then, what am I going to do for the rest of the day? I actually need to take some pictures for another project, but tomorrow I'm going into London, so I'll be able to bring you along for that. For a couple of other like treatments and things again, um, so I'll bring you along. I'm actually going and getting some cryo on my on my forehead. These are under under skin bumps that I've had for like five years. I'm going to go and see if I can have them frozen off. So I thought you might find that quite interesting. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm going to put all this stuff back in the box, leave the box in here until this video goes up, so I can hear what you think and then make my decisions. But I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. So today is the day I go into London just to do a couple of bits and bobs and I'm just about ready. Just need to work out what my hair is doing. It was very wild yesterday and side parted, which is not very me these days, but I was really quite enjoying the side part yesterday. Maybe I just need to give it a bit of a brush. A little bit wild, isn't it? Mm, I'm not sure. I've done my makeup. I bought this lip fudge the other day by a brand called Tropic. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but I think they're like a really sustainable vegan brand. And the other day on the photo shoot that I did with Bulgari, the makeup artist used this lip balm on me and I was like, I need to buy it. I literally bought it there and then sat in the makeup chair because this smells like Murray Mints. If you've ever had a Murray Mint, it's like a peppermint, it's almost like a peppermint butterscotch smell. It's so nice. So this is the pink one, this is called Rosewood. He actually used on me the uh, the clear one, which was lovely, but I was like, oh, there's a pink one, I will buy that one. You don't get much colour payoff, but it kind of feels sticky when you put it on, but actually, like on the lips, you wouldn't get anything. You wouldn't get your hair sticking to this, but yeah, cute little brand find. I don't know why, again, I don't know why I bothered doing my lips almost my face when I'm gonna have to have a mask on for a lot of today, but well, and I'm also going to the dentist literally as soon as I get into London, I'm going for like a hygienist appointment where they just like clean your teeth. I go like every six months. So I have like a full clean. I still go to London, the London Lingual Orthodontic Clinic where I got my braces. Uh, for any of you that are new here, I had lingual braces on my teeth. Um, I probably had them off now maybe two years ago, but I had them on for a good 18 months. They're a different option to Invisalign. A lot of people ask me like why I didn't just do Invisalign. To be honest, f for me, I just didn't want the option to take them out and in my mouth all the time. Like, especially because I was going to a lot of meetings all the time. Um, especially around that time, I was going to meetings and back to back like photo shoots and all sorts. And I knew that if I had Invisalign, I'd have to take them out and in all the time to do, to eat. And I didn't want to have to constantly be going to the bathroom or taking them out at the table in front of people. That was just me. I mean, Alex isn't bothered when he, Alex has Invisalign, he's not bothered at all. So with the lingual braces, they're literally attached, attached to the back of your teeth the whole time. So yeah, that's why I went for lingual braces and they served me well. <laughs> I love my teeth now. It completely changed my face. I was looking yesterday at some old blog posts and I came across a blog post that had a really old video embedded into it. And I had a little watch of it just to see like, oh, what was I doing back in 2014? <laughs> and my entire face shape is different, completely different. Having my teeth moved with these braces, it like moved my jaw completely round and into a, like a, 
like a flat position that's more symmetrical. Like I feel like it just matured my face a bit, it made it a bit more symmetrical my face. Yeah, so I I loved it. I absolutely loved getting them done. My teeth done. I, I'd always wanted to get them sorted out. And obviously being on camera all the time, it's all I saw was my teeth. Oh god, this is itching me sometimes like cashmere itches my neck. Yeah, and I'm sure I used to get some comments on my teeth as well back then. So I had them done and I'm so glad I did. But anyway, since then, I um, I think I have done a video, by the way, on lingual braces, just in case any of you are like, oh, that sounds interesting. Pretty much what it is, it's the usual attached braces that people can get. I used to call them train, train track braces. That's how I referred to them when I had them, because I've had them on before. Um, I had them on the front when I was younger as well. It's just them, but they're on the backs of your teeth. So from the front, no one would know you've got braces in. And again, that was something that I wanted because after having the braces on the front of my teeth, when I was younger, I was like, do you know what? I've gone through that once. I've been through it. I don't want to do it again. Otherwise I likely would have gone for the front braces, but I just didn't want to do it again. I'd had, I'd had years and I mean years of retainers, braces. I'd had surgery on my teeth because I had too many teeth in my mouth. I think it's one of the reasons why I have a lisp now because I had like 10 teeth taken out of my mouth because my, my mouth was too small for my teeth. <laughs> So yeah, I've just had, I've had a lot of dental work done anyway, and then I forgot to wear my retainers after that, and it led to the fact that I needed to then have mature like adult teeth work done. And anyway, led me to that. I got the lingual braces, really, really loved the finish of them. I went to London Lingual Orthodontic Clinic. Dr. Chatu is honestly just such a lovely guy. It's on Har it's on Wimpole Street, just off Harley Street, you know, it's that area of London that's just fabulous for treatments. Highly recommend it if you are looking for some dental work. You've got a kind of job that means that you don't really want to have uh, braces on the fronts of your teeth. But yeah, equally, I know Invisalign is, is a popular one. That's what Alex is going through at the moment, but I just didn't want to have to take my braces out and in. So I'm going back there today because I still go there and I get hygienist appointments and they just clean up your teeth to perfection, like even to the point of like flossing them and and all sorts. Um, so I like to just go and get it done just so I know I've had a full clean every six months. I'm just gonna get, my, my hair just didn't look quite right. That's why I'm having to do, I don't like to have to heat curl it twice on one wash, but it's not that it's best today. So I'm coming again here. Right, guys, guess what I'm gonna wear today? Into London. Oh. Yeah, I am. I am going for it. Oh, it means I have to take off the tags. Oh, that makes me sad. Okay. So if you did not watch my previous video, you might wanna go watch it. I showed you the entire Holt and Cooper collection that I'm coming out with, and this is one of those pieces. The incredible pink mauve blazer. And I just realized as well, in that video, I didn't show you this hidden, hidden little detail. Look at the inside of the collar. A little hidden pop of tartan. So cool. So yeah, this is, this is my outfit for the day. Black on black with this beautiful, I'll probably also wear a coat, like a light coat over this as well, just in case we sit outside. God, this stuff will stop itching. Does anyone else get this with cashmere? It itches from here. One time I was on a plane wearing a big chunky jumper and the entire plane ride, I was just itching the skin off of my arms and my, my neck. I don't know, I must be a little bit allergic. God knows. Shoes now. I don't think these little pink um, Daxon socks are gonna work so much. So uh, what should I wear on my feet? My favourites, my favourites, my Dior boots, the ones that I have repaired by the restory and they actually absolutely brought them back from the dead. I really want to wear my Kelly today. What I'm going to do is, I've, I've still not got an insert that properly fits into that Kelly, my last one was too fat. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this little Dior pouch I'm gonna put that inside of the Kelly because that feels like it will fit nicely just to the bottom in there. Yeah, 
yes, nice, perfect. And then just put everything inside of the little deal pouch, inside. Ready! So these are the birthstone charms that you might recognise. Here's my little ruby one. This is so nice. Yeah, I love this. This is gorgeous. <laughs> I have never looked sexier than right now. Oh my god, it looks like I've got like a little goatee. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I'm back with Emma at L'Atelier Aesthetics. We are going to try to remove some of these like blemishes that have formed from some spots. I mean, I've only had them like five, six weeks ago. No more than that, eight weeks ago. Yeah. And they haven't gone. So we're gonna try and micro needle this area. And I've never done that before. So I've got numbing cream on. And then here I have two little um, blemishes. Well, they're like, what would you call them? Almost a build up of just sort of dead skin that went, yeah. you know, went burnt, wouldn't it? Exactly. And I've tried zap, we've tried zapping it, haven't we? Yeah. And, and peeling it. Yeah. And they will not budge, so we're going to try, what's it called? Cryo? Yeah. 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 We're going to try cryo on these and microneedling on this. So I'm probably going to look a bit crazy for a few days. <laughs> will these scar a bit? They shouldn't scar. But no. They might, no, they shouldn't leave a scar, but they might look a little bit red just right. for a day or two. <laughs> <laughs> it's got like a little patchwork. It's a yeah. good job actually putting a mask on later, no one's going to see, oh, are they? Exactly. Which is great. Right, so I'm going to film this so you can see me get my micro needling. I hope I can hold the camera. It's not going to be too painful. No, it? no, no, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'll do just like a tiny little test patch and you'll just see how that feels, okay? okay. We can always leave the numbing cream on for a bit longer. Okay. I reckon it'll be fine. You'll be fine. I bet you'll you be have fine. this all over your face, don't you? Whole face. Yeah. Oh, then yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're barely going to feel fine. Thing. It's just that it's that when you don't know what to expect exactly. kind of feeling, isn't it? Everyone for microneedling for the first time is always nervous and then as soon as they feel what it feels like, get quite relieved. Oh really? Okay, great. Cool. So I'm excited. Take the numbing cream off. Let's do this. I'm just going to start on just a very low little needle. Okay. Give you a little feeling. Mmm. Is that okay? Mmm, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see underneath it's starting to go pink. Mmm. Is it okay? Yeah. You will see a little bit of blood. There you go. That's one done. Oh, really? So yeah. is, that, is that what you do? You kind of target the actual blemish? Yeah. Two little ones there. There's actually one, but there's a tiny little one just there. So I might as well do them both. Get it, get it. <laughs> so imagine this. When we do a whole face, we just do this pretty much all over the whole face. Except we would do numbing cream for much longer if we did a whole face. Right. That's it. Wow. <laughs> <How's> that? <laughs> oh gosh, how long does a full face take? About 20 minutes. Does it? Yeah, 15, 20 minutes. So now, so what will this do now? Will this just like encourage it to just form? Essentially to reheal. So yeah. essentially everywhere there's a tiny little hole, your body sends out collagen to fix that little hole. Right. I'm not gonna really feel it. Feels just kind of like a bit of a scrapey sort of feeling. Doesn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. It just feels like a, it almost feels like a, just a, a sharper tool that you're rubbing over the skin. Yeah. I can't feel it going in the skin. So it might take a couple of times. So you'd want to wait about four weeks before we do another one. Right. So okay. Hello, Kiki. <laughs> hey guys, back. <laughs> I'm back. I literally look like I've got bee stings all over my face. So I had my procedures earlier. I didn't film the second one because it was with a doctor, Dr. Wright, who is literally two, two floors down. I'm just here, darling. I'm just here, my darling, I promise. Daddy will be back in a minute. He's just going to get a cup of tea. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that big furry chest. Yes, so I didn't film the second procedure. That was with a guy called Dr. Wright. I had these two, these two up here, frozen. And I mean, it was just a really quick, super quick procedure. Like, it's almost like a can of nitrogen. And he just very closely just like, 
like a like spraying like a deodorant can pretty much on it. So we'll see how these go. Two have been here for about five years and I've not known what they were, but Dr. Wright reckons that this one, especially here, might be almost like the same type of skin as a mole under the surface of the skin that has grown. So in that case, he reckons that this probably will not work, this sort of cryo freezing, but he said, let's try it anyway, because it won't hurt it or, you know, cause any issues. So I thought I'd try it anyway. But this was the microneedling. So this is currently chin. It'll just it literally just looks like two bee stings on my ch on my chin right now. Yeah, so I guess I'll just see how they go. I'll just report back. Emma was saying this sort of microneedling is amazing if you do have acne scarring, and she works the uh, microneedles over it so that obviously it starts to heal um, afterwards and hopefully kind of smooth out the skin when it heals. So I'm going to be intrigued to see how this goes. I'll let you know. I have absolutely loved wearing this blazer all day today. I've had a couple of compliments and people are like, where did you get this from? And I'm like, hmm, just you wait and see, just you wait and see. Really, really exciting. In fact, the video's just gone live for the collection. Everyone seems to be loving it and the comments are amazing about all the different things that you guys are loving. So thank you so much. If you've not seen already that video, go and have a little peek. Yeah, dead excited. Next week we're shooting the whole collection. We're heading over to Cheltenham. I've got a full photo shoot planned to shoot the collection and on models as well. So there'll be models wearing the collection as well as me. So yeah, can't wait. Last time I went to Cheltenham and stayed over there, it was amazing. It was such a buzz last time. Like it was such an amazing day. So we're gonna take a little bow and Alex is coming too and Bryony will be there and it'll just be, yeah, such a great shoot. I cannot wait. But until then, <laughs> these two little cuties, hi, cutie pie. <sighs> yeah, I'll be honest, I've been so good on my working out, I've been spinning every single day for a while now, and I'm just, I'm honest, honestly, I'm so, I'm just so tired, so I'm going to pass on tonight's workout, and I'm going to have a shower and get in bed, it's only nine o'clock, but I just want to get in bed and go to sleep, to be honest, <laughs> so... I'm gonna give myself a workout pass today, I think, and just start up again tomorrow. Um, get cozy with the fam.